Hi folks, I'm Ryan Shanahan and this is Rexport Education. You know, fencing has a long-standing tradition of nobility, sportsmanship, and athleticism. But you know, some of the newer fencers out there might have a harder time getting used to the traditions and all the rules associated with Olympic fencing. Luckily, I'm here to help. You see, generally there are several things that you can do in fencing, but a few things that you shouldn't do. For example, there are some tactics and uh, strategies that were generally frowned upon in fencing. What's that? Others would be considered against the rules. And some are just outright disgraceful. I shoot you down, I'll teabag you like a ho, 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 you must believe that when you see me. For example, some of you already know that there are some things that you can do on the strip. We must get the precious. We must get it back. Precious, my love. And some things that you shouldn't do on the strip. Somebody who hates nasty horses. I'm just kidding. First. Actually, fencing's a very inclusive and welcoming sport. So you can let your true self shine. We want to love you for who you are, you big weirdo. The precious. Okay, so now that you've had a brief intro, here are several things not to do in fencing. Coup de grace, French for blows of mercy. Finishing off your opponent with a merciful blow is respectable in war and video games, but has no place in modern fencing. Plus, the blades don't do anything. <laughs> Plunger fencing sounds like a lot of fun, but actually it's not very comfortable in the hand and causes others to not want to play with you. And you should wash your hands. You don't know where that's been. Seppuku, ritualistic suicide for ancient samurai. But you aren't a samurai. You will never be a samurai. You may find it difficult with Olympic blades, and just don't do it. are popular in video games, but just like in video games, if you use them against your friends, you're a no-good lousy cheater, and nobody likes you. Spencer, salute to each other. Thank you. Masks on. Anga. Re. Ale. Drunk 
drunken fencing is no joke, but mastering this obscure style carries with it inherent dangers. One, because you have to fence while inebriated. And two, in order to continue drinking while you fence, you can't wear a mask. This has led to facial injuries and the practice being banned in 180 countries. Remember kids, fencing without a mask isn't cool. A sword kebab may sound like a great idea, but using your own sword in such a manner is for only the sick, disgraceful, simple-minded, awful, ignorant, snollygoster, ninnahammer, mumpsimus, mooncalf. What was I talking about again? Wait, why is this bad? Oh man, that, that, that looks pretty good. Oh, how long have I been editing? I, uh, I, I think I'm gonna get some dinner. That kebab is sure looking pretty tasty. Where do I get one of those now? Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video and please leave a like and subscribe, share it with your friends and leave me a comment below. Yeah, I've got a lot of plans for this channel this year, a lot more videos I'd like to put up. We just reached 500 subscribers recently and I'd like to see that number doubled in the next few months so that I can start receiving some revenue from YouTube. That'll really go a long way in helping me create more content. The best way you can help with that is if you subscribe and share it with all your friends. I'll see you all next time.